Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a checkpoint system in Roblox Studio. As you can see right here, we have our nice little lobby that I put together for you guys. This is our checkpoint right here, and when we jump on it, the stage will go up. Now when we die, boom, we'll respawn right at our checkpoint, and we can keep going. Showcase that for you guys. This is our next checkpoint. Our stage goes up, and now that we die, we'll respawn right here. Perfect. I know a lot of you guys have been having trouble with checkpoint systems, so that's why I made this video for you guys. Honestly, checkpoints are really, really simple, so this will be a really short, sweet video for you guys. All right, guys, so to get started, you really don't need much. The most important part is our checkpoints. This can literally just be a few parts. You're going to want to label them starting at one, all the way up to whatever your highest checkpoint is in order of your checkpoints. That's really the only important part. See, this one is one, this one is two, and this one will be three. All right, so now we're going to add a script into the server script service. All right, guys, and to start, we're gonna grab our checkpoints. Now we're gonna set up our leader stats for when the player joins. Alright guys, so what we're doing right here is we are creating our leader stats folder, putting in the player, then we create our int value, we're naming it stage, and we are setting its value equal to 1, because when you first join the game, you're on stage 1. Next up, we're going to connect a function to when the character is added into the game. Alright, so first off, you're going to want to wait just a second just to make sure everything is loaded in now we're going to find out if the player has made any progress in the game yet now if the player has made any progress in the game we're going to want to move him to his checkpoint Alright guys, so what we're doing right here is we're taking the character, we're moving him to his checkpoint. We're going to take the checkpoints folder, which is all the checkpoint pieces over here, or parts. We're going to find the checkpoint inside of this folder, and we're going to move this character to this position. And now outside of this function, we're going to create a for loop. Alright guys, so what we're doing right here is we're going to loop through all of the parts inside of this folder and we're going to create an event for each part and connect it to this function. We're taking the hit and we're finding out if it was a player who touched the checkpoint. We're going to get the character, the player, and his checkpoint, whatever stage he's on. And now basically what we're doing right here is we're finding out if the player's current checkpoint is one below the checkpoint that he just touched this way they can't like cheat and skip ahead to other checkpoints and if that's true then we will add one to his checkpoint value all right guys and that's pretty much it let's go test it out
All right, guys, great job. That's it. I hope I helped you guys out. And if I did, make sure to subscribe and like the video. And of course, if you have any questions or any video ideas, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching.